Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today I'm in Chongqing, China, which is a very, very mountainous city. I brought the X-Way Wave with me with the travel battery. I also have the GAN charger with me. Today I'm gonna visit an American. Some of you might know him. He's about seven kilometers away, which is not very far, but in this city, traveling seven kilometers, I think it's gonna be a real challenge because if you've been to Chongqing, you know that, like I said, it's very mountainous. There are hills literally everywhere. I don't think there are any bike paths. The sidewalks are all tiles, so I think it's gonna be difficult to ride here. Oh, getting a nice foot massage right now. Like I said, there are no bicycle paths, so yeah, I'm just riding on these fucking tiles. Oh, yeah, this place is kind of a challenge to ride. Oh man, kicktail really comes in handy here. Ah, stairs. Okay, this looks like the first major downhill slope that I'm approaching. Ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I don't think I'm supposed to be riding here. Although, over here, there's surprisingly few cars. Oh yeah, foot massage feels so good. Okay, honestly, it doesn't feel that bad. I feel like I've gotten used to it. I know that in the past, this would feel like super jarring to me, but for me right now, it's not so... Bad. The map wants me to go this way. This looks like it's for cars only. I think I can just take the stairs down. Okay, so this is a very typical scene in Chongqing. You see all these stairs? Ugh. The wave I think is uh, six or seven kilograms with the travel battery. I'm not really sure. Six and a half? I don't know. <laughs> Turn the board back on. 99%? Um, yeah, that's because I was going downhill and I guess the board was charging, but damn, that charged really fast. Good thing I didn't charge it to full earlier. I don't want to be riding downhill when the battery is fully charged because once it gets to 100 and then if I ride much farther than that, it's probably just going to shut off and uh, I won't be able to stop <laughs> unless I foot brake. But it's kind of a tall board. It's a little difficult to foot brake. Hmm. Oh, it's getting kind of steep here. Shit. Oh, you know, maybe I can sit. Oh, no. oh crap. Oh, crap. No. No. Oh, fuck. Okay, this part is a little bit uphill, so I'm gonna use the board. And then it's gonna be downhill again, so I'll get off the board over there. After that, we'll be at ground level. Ah, 85 millimeter wheels. Not really ideal. I feel fine actually. It just feels like heavy vibrations. I don't know if it's good for the electronics, you know, all the plugs and stuff. Okay, the battery now says uh, 96%. Yeah, it's funny having to worry about having too much battery. Oh god, so many tiles. I said earlier I was getting used to it, but these tiles are like bigger. Am I going the right way? I feel like the, uh, the layout of Chongqing is super cool. Everything's on a mountain. There are areas where the best way to get from one road to another road is to just go through a building, take the elevator up, instead of taking a, a large detour. My feet are literally numb right now. Ugh. So I think I'm just... The fuck? Maybe you recognize me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna take these stairs up. These stairs are kind of like a shortcut instead of looping through the, uh, the roads and stuff. Anyway, I'm at 80% battery right now. That's how funny, I started at 74, and now I'm at 80 after several kilometers. What the hell is this? Where are there all these people here? Oh, I know why. This is a tourist area. For some reason, they think it's special that the metro train goes through a building. I mean, I guess it's kind of neat. I don't actually care about that train because I've seen it. I've been on it a few years ago. It goes through a building, so what? <laughs> but since I'm here, let's just wait for it. There it goes, going into the hole. And there's one coming out. And there it goes. Yeah, they're satisfied. Okay, let's get going. Okay, now we're gonna go into that little path and go up that hill. Once again, no bike path. So, and that sidewalk looks really narrow. I might just have to carry the board up. On the other hand, what's the point of having a board if you're not gonna ride up the hill? I don't think anyone's gonna run me over, I hope. I'm actually surprised at how well it's performing going uphill because this is a tiny ass battery. Oh, 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 rough terrain. 
this is fucking awesome. <laughs> Draining the battery fast also, let's see, 73% now. So I'm back to where I started in terms of battery. I think I might be here already. That's so funny. I started at 73% battery after seven kilometers. Now I'm at 71 because it was mostly downhill. That's hilarious. Anyway, we're gonna go see General Joseph Warren Sitwell. Still well. <laughs> general Joseph Warren Stillwell. Uh, I think he's a general, a US general from World War II. And he used to live here. Actually, I think it might be closed. Yeah, I came all the way here for, it's not open. Um, but across the street is another museum. I think it's open because I see people going in. So this is supposed to be the Flying Tigers Museum. Hold up. So that was pretty surreal. Didn't expect to see like a bunch of imagery of, you know, American military and Chinese text and the flag of the uh, Republic of China all in one place inside a Chinese museum in the middle of China. This was like a 70 or a seven kilometer ride. I thought my battery would have been mostly used up because this is just a 99 watt hour battery. I mean, I knew there were hills, but I thought it was going to be some uphill, some downhill, and it would like even out in the end. I did not expect to start from 74% and end at 71%, just 3% down. I'm now back at the hotel and I just charged the wave from 22% to 72%. So that's uh, like 50% charge and it took 28 minutes. So that's really good. So in the first half of the journey, obviously I went downhill more than I went uphill. But I feel like during the second half of the journey, there was also more downhill than there was uphill, which makes no sense at all. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but uh, <laughs> Chongqing's a magical place, I guess. Anyway, so that's one thing to consider. There were hills. The other thing to consider is that for a lot of the ride, I was riding on tiles, which was really bumpy. And so the traction was really limited. And yeah, so I didn't want to ride fast on there. And also for other parts of the ride, there were lots and lots of people, so I couldn't ride fast anyway. Not sure how fast I was riding, but I'm pretty sure a lot of it was under 20 kilometers per hour. By the way, I'm having a voice issue. I finally went to see the doctor about it. I have something called salcus vocalis or something. There's an issue with my vocal cords. I'm trying some medicine. I'm trying this uh, inhalation therapy with a nebulizer. Anyway, that's a whole other issue, but yeah. Fun ride on the wave. Now, if I were to ride to empty and then try to charge from empty to full, just based on the numbers that I got from charging 50%, charging from empty to full is probably gonna take about an hour or probably over an hour actually. But yeah, the charger, it's pretty cool. Sorry, this hotel room is like super dark. So yeah, this is it. Here it is next to my face, just for reference. Now I do have a rather large head, so this might not be the best comparison, but um, yeah, this is how big it is in my hand. Pretty cool, huh? 